Santander certainly ticks all the boxes, but I think it's trying to do too much to really be effective. Let me take you through the card and explain what I mean. Look, Santander weren't overcompensating when they named this card the all-in-one. It comes with 0% interest on purchases for 15 months, 0% interest on balance transfers for 15 months, with a 0% balance transfer fee for 15 months, no foreign usage fees, 0.5% cashback up to 10 quid a month, and access to even more rewards through Santander Boosts. So yeah, lots to like about this card. Some potential downsides include the three quid monthly account fee, and I'll go into more on this in the next section on fees and that people with low credit scores are unlikely to be eligible. A more philosophical but no less crucial downside to me is whether this card is trying to do too many things at once. You know, most people use a balance transfer to pay off some debt, whereas 0.5% cashback encourages you to spend, so I'm just not sure how complimentary those features are. As I mentioned, the Santander all-in-one card does come with a three quid monthly fee. This isn't huge in the grand scheme of things, but it could be a deterrent if you don't want to have to think about fees. When your 15-month no balance transfer fee deal expires, any balance transfers you make at that point will come with a 3% or £5 minimum fee, whichever works out bigger. Other key charges to bear in mind include no foreign exchange fees on spending abroad, a 3% fee on cash advance transactions like withdrawing cash, and a 12 quid fee if you miss a repayment. The all-in-one card is split into two sections, half black and half kind of grey speckles. The visual of being all-in-one sort of tracks here, but the card definitely does more than two things. The speckle bit is also slightly textured, so there's also that. The app feels very Santander with a classic white and red vibe. Some would say it's even a little basic, but what more do you want from a credit card app? You see what you spent and you pay it off. As well as the usual stuff like freezing your card, setting up direct debits, etc. In the app, you can also manage your discounts and cashback from Santander Boosts. So far, this video has been a lot of words. Some pictures, but mostly a lot of words. And some of you out there might be like, Louise, just give us a cold hard number that tells us if this is any good or not. Well, our credit experts have crunched the numbers and when compared to other cards on the market, have given this card a score of 4.5 out of five. Okay, first things first, you need a decent credit score to be eligible for this card. So unless your score is in good shape, it doesn't really matter what else I have to say because you're unlikely to get approved. If you're not sure, you can use a free eligibility checker before you officially apply. These checks will not affect your credit score and it'll give you a good idea of how likely you are to get approved. Bit of a shameless plug, but we actually have one, uh, so you can check that out here if you want to. If you're like me and have loads of cards in your wallet that all do slightly different things, this card could marry Condo your wallet, as it aims to be a bit of a one-stop shop for all your credit needs. And it really does do a lot of stuff. This card has a pretty good cashback rate for a credit card and could be a good option if you want to tick off two money tasks at once. So for example, if you want to consolidate and pay off some debt using a 0% balance transfer, while also spreading the cost of a purchase, like a new washing machine, using the 0% purchase period. However, it is a bit of a jack of all trades, master of none. If we compare the individual features, there are definitely better cards out there. The Barclay Platinum Balance Transfer Visa, for example, offers up to 28 months interest free. And while the Amex Cashback Everyday Credit Card has the same ongoing cashback rate of 0.5% on spending up to 10K, new customers will get 5% cashback on eligible purchases for your first three months, up to £100 cashback. So a little comparison, with the Amex Cashback Card at that introductory rate of 5%, you'd need to spend just £2,000 over three months to get the full £100 cashback. Whereas with the Santander card on that lower rate of 0.5% and with the monthly cap of just 10 quid a month, you'd have to spend £20,000 across 10 months to earn £100 in cashback. Another issue could be the conflicting nature of the different perks. With a balance transfer deal, you're likely looking to pay off a balance, whereas a 0% purchase deal or the cashback offer, they're about getting more from spending on the card. 
So unless you're really disciplined, it's a fine line to tread not to just rack up more debt. Bottom line is, if you want a multi-purpose card and are proactive at managing your money across different offers, the Santander all-in-one card could be a neat solution for you. However, if you're only gonna use one of the features, you might be better off going for a dedicated card that does one thing really well. Account fees are also worth mentioning here. So basically cards that come with lots of rewards and perks do typically have an account fee. Over a year, that three pound monthly fee adds up to just 36 quid, which is a far cry from something like the Amex Preferred Rewards Gold Card that has a fee of 195 pounds from your second year of card membership. The key is to really weigh up whether the features you're actually gonna use are worth as much or more than that 36 quid a year. If we look at that in terms of cashback, with an earn rate of 0.5%, you'd need to spend 7,200 pound on the card to get at least 36 quid in cashback. And because the cashback is capped at 10 pounds a month, it would take just over three and a half months of spending and hitting the quota to actually achieve that. As per while I'm doing my YouTube bit, please enjoy this wrap up of the pros and cons of this credit card. So if you do want more information, you can check out our full review on the Santander all-in-one card on finder.com by clicking here and following the link below. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button for more videos like this one. And as always, Thanks so much for watching.